Hey, what's going on? It's me. Hi. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? It is Sunday, February 9th. Um, it is still Black History Month, y'all. Black History Month. Um, and I am glad to report that, you know, well, on my Facebook news feed, a lot of the buffoonery, fake, Black history factoids have kind of died down a little bit because I think, you know, people have said stuff and I've said stuff like, hey, you know, our kids are looking at this. Let's be easy with all that. I, I get the funny haha, but, you know, putting Joe Jackson saying he's the first man to successfully bleed the black off his child is just, you know, I think it's a bit much. I think we need to stop. Okay. So let me give you a little bit of facts and we'll get into some other things. So, my black history fact for today is that in 1976, um, our president Gerald Ford made our black history month. He made it official and organized it officially so that we'd have a black history month, which is, which I think is beautiful. I think other cultures, I think Indian, Asian, you know, every culture should have a month, you know, just like, you know, the Hispanic cultures, they have Cinco de Mayo, but why not give them, you know, a month? But, you know, it's our month, so it's our time to celebrate and to share our culture and who we are with, not just with each other, but with everyone, you know, so that other people know interesting facts about our culture. I saw something very interesting on my Facebook. I'm sorry, I cannot find it right now. But um, somebody posted today that a black man, and please forgive me, I forgot his name, um, invented potato chips. I thought that was fabulous. I really did. Even though know, I don't need nair chip. Let's just keep it 100. <laughs> she don't need no chips. Straight up. But thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay. So, on to other news. Okay. So, I just need to have this conversation with y'all. Okay. I am not a hater. And this is shade free. Shade free. Let me just say. But this, um, this YouTuber, his name is Ice JJ Fish. Everybody know who this, who this person is. If you don't know who he is, I'm about to introduce you to Ice JJ Fish. I know you know who this is. You got to know who this is. Oops, my bad. My bad. Hold on. Let's get back to it. This YouTuber is just very interesting to me. But I'm going to talk more about him in just a second. So, I, um, I didn't want to put this in my video, but I'm just going to show him to you. So, mind you, professional, professionally produced video. But. It's something about the girl that just makes my head on a twirl. Oh, you got me want to tell all them other girls. There's nothing else better on this world. The moment I seen her, I was inside. <clears throat> this is shade free. Shade free. Okay. Everyone is entitled to what they like and what they like to do. Mind you, this video that I just showed you just came out three days ago. Three days ago. It has 710,000 views on it. Right? All people are entitled to what they like, what they want to do. is a lot of people that like the way that boy voice sounds. However, I'm I'm taken back. I'm like, you know, where are your friends, JJ? Where are your friends? I mean, somebody just really needs to tell you, like, your sound is interesting. It, it, I'm trying to be shade free, y'all. I'm really trying to convert my ways, but I'm like, good lord. I know some real artists, real artists who are local who've been working and doing gigs at little bars and just real solid 
solid artists who are not not at that point I uh, all I can say is to you is um I think y'all need to get on JJ's you know vibe you know what I'm saying because obviously he doing something that people like but power to you ice JJ fish obviously you got the formula for success over there bruh but uh she will be buying your music I'm sorry it it makes my cat howl. It it really does. They get irritated. They start scratching things. I don't know if it's the the pitchiness of it. I don't know what it is, sir. No shade, but I cannot play your music in my house. It disturbs my animal kingdom. Okay, so let's see. This is one of my animals. Oh, she look big. That's my baby snacks. She laid out. Yes, yeah, she is. She a big old monster into him okay so no shade ice jj fish however you want to be you know addressed no shade boo no shade keep doing your thing i am not mad at you okay um yeah <laughs> so what's been going on with me so it's sunday and yes she is in the house beat beat just extra I'm just giving you you know the smoky eye and the nude lip I have a lot of makeup y'all maybe one day I'll have to show it to you I have a lot of makeup doing part two um my extensive watching of YouTube videos a lot of my favorite YouTubers who I love you know just got me hooked on all kind of products i'm buying all kind of stuff it's just it's just utter ridiculousness it just really is um big shout out to platinum d light girl she just put out a video if you are a makeup lover you on my channel you love me some makeups she just did a um a tour of her makeup room i could i i could have just died and fell out i was like oh clutch her pearls I need that room in my life. Yes, I do. Yeah, she is. She is doing it. Um, and I, I love a lot of other YouTube makeup vloggers. So I have quite an extensive collection of makeup. So sometimes I just I feel the need to play in my makeup a little bit. Sometimes you know just to zhuzh her up a little bit. I went out yesterday to David and Buster. So you know this yesterday hair how to bring in she she straightened it out this is my still my weed this hair holding up i'll have to let y'all know about this hair if you want to know but just ask um so let me tell y'all about friday so if you follow my videos you know friday i went to the dentist still don't like the dentist y'all i do not like the dentist okay she is not a fan at all they got they got a pearly white you know cleaning the teeth real good you know did my little laser you know gum contour and all that stuff and preparing to get braces because i'm trying to get her snatched get her grab snatch and pull together but um i had to be sedated which i wasn't asleep but they gave me oral sedation they kind of calm my nerves my nerves be bad y'all it's just something about the dentist my my heart my soul my spirit can't handle it y'all it's just it unnerves me so gave me a little oral sedation put on a little soothing spa music you know i'm like where's my masseuse i need to get a massage sorry y'all i'm playing in my hair i said i was gonna do that anyway so you know i'm calm my eyes is covered she's like just sleep just relax i'm like okay i'm cool i'm chilling i'm chilling my nerves are still a little rocky because i can kind of hear what's going on you know and anticipating the start of all this i'm like okay i have to go from this to once they numb up my mouth i'm good you know what i'm saying just give me there so you know i hear some people coming in you know the my dentist my doctor who's very she's a very good dentist and then i hear the dental hygienist coming in they're like prepping me and she's like okay miss jackson we're just gonna put this um you know we're gonna put this topical cream in your mouth to help numb your mouth you know pray for your shots which unnerves me unnerves me my nerves it makes my nerves bad 
So she rubs it and I feel my mouth getting numb. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I don't remember them doing this last time. But, you know, they just went at me with them shots and it just, you know. So my dentist, you know, she's kind of like, okay, we, I'm going to make this fast possible. I'm going to get you as numb as I possibly can. So, you know, you're going to feel this. We can get started and get this over with. Show me the side, a little poke, a little pinch. Feeling in my cheek like, all right. She get on this side, you know, and she's like, hold your head. And I'm like, all right. I felt like the needle was this long, y'all. Like it was going to come out the side of my face. I was like, hold up. Hold up. I almost came out of character. But the one shot that just just about made me jump out of the chair was when she shot me in the roof of my mouth. If you never had a shot in the roof of your mouth, that pain is is searing. It's nothing like it. Like I thought I was gonna lose my mind. I was like, Oh, oh Lord, this is it. I'm about to punch this dentist in the face. But um once I was completely numbed up, you know, and, you know, they went to work, they handled their business, I was just counting down the hours. Like, I really, I, I, I couldn't help but relax a little bit more because I was sedated a little bit, but my nerves, I just, me and the dentist, we ain't cool. It ain't cool. I think next time I'm going to be like, you're going to have to knock me out, for real. You're going to have to put me to sleep. You're going to have to give her an IV and knock her out. Because she don't like that pain. I don't like that feeling. I don't want to deal with it. Um, I don't know if y'all can hear my dog. She's just yelping. Um, but I'm good. Like, I'm healing up still. You know, cannot really eat what I want to eat. Like, I'm eating soft food and stuff. Which is good for my diet. Because, um, she's drinking water. She's eating fruit. She's eating, you know. I cannot really eat salads and stuff right now. So I'm just eating a lot of soft food, which is fine. I made it through, y'all. I was so looking forward to making this video. Like, ooh, I cannot wait to make the video after I come back from the dentist. <sighs> Oof, she don't like no dentist. And she got to go back in three weeks so they can check. And then we can move on to the next procedure so she can get snatched. And I'm like, I cannot wait to be done with y'all for real. I'm so over it so serious okay what I got planned for the week um this week coming up I'm probably gonna be getting out of the house and doing a few things uh working on my website definitely working on YouTube I do have video editing software y'all so I'm going to start cutting two videos together so that you guys can see me out of this house. I have a video when I'm away from the house. I'm just have to sit down and cut it together but you know I'll be going through it. I'll just be like whatever. But she like her makeup. See this is natural light. See when I, I see myself in a video. This is the tip. To all you people that's kind of, you know, into the whole makeup thing. When you see yourself on natural, like, I have lights. You know, I have beauty lights in my house and stuff. But, um, when you see yourself in video, you can kind of see, like, okay, what did I do wrong on this makeup? Where could I, you know, did this, did that? You know, I watch YouTube videos and I take from the beauty videos. I take from them what I want to take from them. Because... I think makeup is all about self-expression. You can do different looks. You can do different things. But it's all about what looks good on you. I try to rock with what looks cute on me. You know what I'm feeling. I might come on here with some gray contacts. Green lashes forever. Some bright pink candy yum yum lips. Ain't no telling y'all. Ain't no telling. I'm a Sagittarius. That's how we roll. That's how we get down. We do whatever we feel deep side of our hearts but um yeah so I'm gonna go cook tonight I'm making some chili in the crock pot cuz it's cold out here y'all it's cold I cannot wait to warm up though cuz you know she trying to get cute I'm gonna show y'all what I did get though let me see if I can find it Hold up. let me see if I can find it though where's that
So, let me say this before I get off. So, I'm a, I'm a thick girl. You know, ain't no confusing it. Ain't no playing with it. She is a thick girl. She got dunk for real. So, you know, balance is an issue. And But I love beautiful shoes. I love heels. And I love, you know, shoes at work. So, for all you big girls out there, even you girls that are a little challenged in walking heels and trying to find something that's comfortable... This chick right here, this just Jessica Simpson. Her shoes is so right. I like this is my second pair of jackets. I I just got these. These is bad, y'all. Look at that. Woo. With the gold heel, but look look at the detail. That's like a gold. I don't know if you're gonna focus in or gold, but that's like a gold chain. It's got like the leather straps with the gold. I like this. It's kind of got this hooker heel ish thing going on. But when I tell you, I don't know if she put memory foam in the soles of these shoes or what. Them shoes are so easy to walk in. And they look like they would be a challenge to walk in. But, you know, one day I'll do a, a shoe haul for you. Because let me tell you, I love me some shoes and I have a lot of shoes. But these shoes right here are so comfortable. Big shout out to Jessica Simpson. Girl, I love your shoes. Love your shoes. Big girl approval. Let me tell you, them shoes is right. And, um, you know, if, if y'all ask for it, if you like, subscribe, comment on this video, and say, hey, can you please show us what your shoes look like? I'm working on getting my next pair of Jessica Simpson. I really like her shoes. Like, they're really well made and they're really balanced you know sometimes you you get some bad heels you be like girl them heels is bad they look good feel good when you walk through the store get the things home put them on with your outfit about to go to the club about to walk out the door like oh i'm finna go to the club i'm finna be cute get out the car to walk in the club feet just doing the looney tune swell up just toes just busting out the side just all bad just shoot all bad not working you ready to come out from things put some flip flops on like no like i wore just another pair of jessica simpson shoes that i have to a concert she was so cute high stepping and five inch heels looking real proper real cute like and eh, snatched <laughs> But we'll talk more about it, y'all. It's Sunday. So y'all enjoy your day. I'm going to go get my cook on. Make me a big pot of chili and some cornbread. You know, comfort food. Soup my soul. And starting Monday, it's back to the water and the bread crumbs, y'all. Because, you know, thickness got to be right for the summer. All right, y'all. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace out, humanity.